everybody. Welcome back to day five of Rattle Together. Remember, we achieve success through rattle. That is respect, ambition, tenacity, trustworthiness, loyalty, and empathy. And those are characteristics that you should be displaying all the time, even at home with your families. We expect you to, we expect to be able to trust you to do your work and respect your parents and your siblings and yourself. Um, yeah, do your best all the time, guys. Okay, I'm sure you are, especially if you're watching this channel. And we have a whole bunch of things to go over before we actually get into our episode today. So first, we're going to answer the riddle from last week, from Friday. The riddle was, what is always in front of you, but you can never see it. And the answer is the future. The future is always in front of us, but we can never see it. I had some people tell me it was your nose, which is always in front of you, but I can see it if I look in a mirror, right? And I did have someone else say the air, which is a great answer. That is always in front of me and I can't see it, but it's also all around me. Hmm. There's another riddle that you could tell people, right? All right, so our new riddle, so that was the answer to the old riddle, was the future. The new riddle, I want you to think really hard about this this week, or tonight, rather, because I'm gonna answer it tomorrow. And the riddle is, what happens once in a lifetime, twice in a moment, but never in a hundred years? Hmm. I'm gonna say that again. What happens once in a lifetime, twice in a moment, but never in a hundred years? Be thinking about that one, that one is definitely tricky. Okay, now um, I wanted to talk about why our experiment didn't work on Friday. We tried to make the rainbow rain clouds. We tried to let the rain clouds saturate with our food coloring and rain down, kind of like a real cloud saturates with water before it rains. Um, unfortunately, it never happened. None of the food coloring came down except for the food coloring that ran down the side of the vase, if you remember from last week. Um, I did a little bit of looking into it and I think that the reason it didn't work was because some people who did it got a cup of water and poured their food coloring in the water and mixed it up and then used a, a dropper to drop it onto their cloud. We could try that again another day and see if we can get it to work. Um, you guys let me know what you want to do if you want to give it another whirl in the future or if you want to just let it go. All right, so if you remember, um, some point last week, I told you that Miss Rubush had a special surprise for us. Well, it came today and it is a butterfly kit. So we got our new friends today hand delivered to us. I'm going to try and do them very carefully so that you can see them. Um, they are our new friends. There are five of them in there, all of them moving around. You can see them moving around right now, actually, right? Um, and we are going to watch these guys morph, transform, change themselves a couple times, and become butterflies. Now, they are at this point in their development. They are caterpillars, right? And caterpillars are larva. Um, who knows what caterpillars hatch out of? Eggs, you're right. So the first stage in the life cycle of these guys was eggs. And the second stage is caterpillar. So we're gonna start out by creating a little life cycle. They're gonna, they're gonna like live here. We're gonna check in on them every day. Um, once they make chrysalises, chrysalides, whatever we'll figure out what that word is we're gonna put them in here and you'll get to watch them become butterflies in there all right so I want you to take out a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen or a crayon whatever you have at home um, so pause it take a minute to grab those things and come right back okay so what we're gonna do on this paper is we're gonna write the words butterfly life cycle your paper does not need to be as big as my paper I just made it really big so that when I hang it up back here hopefully you'll be able to see it okay so the first thing we're gonna do 
Hey guys, how's it going? I'm just tilting this up so that you can see me writing on the paper. <laughs> okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to know how to spell butterfly. What do you think? B, B, right? It starts with a B. You're right. A lot of you got it. Butterfly. We're going to do capital B. B, U, T, T, E, R, F, L, Y. Butterfly. Good job, everybody. All right, butterfly, life cycle. Life, how do we spell life? That's right. And why does the I say its name? You guys are so smart. Magic E is gonna make the I say its name. So capital L, I, F, E. The magic E makes the I say its name. And the last word, cycle, is a little bit tricky because it has one letter in it that has two different sounds for each time it's in there. Cycle. The letter that says s and k in that word is the same letter. What letter could say s and k? C, you're right. Okay, so cycle. C, capital C, Y, C, L, E. Cycle. Butterfly life cycle. Now the first stage in our butterfly life cycle is an egg. Our butterflies will start out in little eggs. So I want you to, at the top, we're gonna draw some eggs. Maybe three of them. Three's good. What shape is this egg? That's right, it's a circle. So let's draw three little circles. Make them kind of small so that you can fit all these things on there. One, two, Three. I put three circles. Now if you want to make it look more like this egg, you can draw a couple of lines on each of those circles. Line, 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 line. Oh, they're so beautiful. Okay, and now I'm going to write the word eggs. Eggs. How do we spell eggs? E-G-G-S. You're right. Oh my gosh. You're all so smart. Okay, so eggs. E-G-G-S. I wrote it right next to the eggs. And now I'm going to make like a curved arrow, curved arrow like this to the next spot. And what happened next? They What hatched out of those eggs? You're right, caterpillars. So I'm gonna actually write the word caterpillar first this time so that we can make sure it fits. And I'm gonna write it right under the arrow. Caterpillar, that's a tricky one. Ready? Follow along with me. This one is C C A T, just like cat. Er E R Pill P P I L L A R Caterpillar. Caterpillar. And our caterpillars look like this guy. But they're really tiny. You saw how tiny they were. See he's got eyes and he's got a bunch of legs under there. So this guy and if you've ever read The Hungry Hung Caterpillar, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, whatever that book is, he made a book of lots of circle sections. So let's do some, some circles. Circle, 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 like all attached together and then give them some legs. Does that sound good? So underneath here, you can wait till I'm done if you want. I'm just making some circles. And then I'm going to give them some legs. Like that. There's my caterpillar. Nothing fancy. All right, and we are gonna wait. We're not gonna draw the next step until we see our caterpillars start to transform into the next step, okay? So I want you to put this aside somewhere safe where you can continue to work on it um, as we watch our caterpillars transform and see what the next stage in their life cycle is. Okay, so I'm going to take this and put this aside over here. I'm probably going to hang it up somewhere um, for tomorrow. Okay, that is the start of our caterpillar life cycle. I'm very excited to watch them become caterpillars. Guys, I cannot wait. They're going to be so beautiful and cute. It's going to be awesome. Um, okay, next.
our experiment for today. Now I do have to admit, this is my second time making this video because Miss Burns got 22 minutes into the video and do you know what happened? Battery. Battery. Well, low power mode turned on. So, oh well. I had to start over. So, um, my experiment, or our experiment, has already started. Now for this experiment, all you need are a couple of pennies. One penny is fine. One penny, two pennies, however many pennies you want to use. I used five pennies, but you don't need five pennies. Um, a paper towel or a nap, a cloth napkin or something. I have a cloth napkin in my bowl and a bowl. Um, and vinegar. So pennies are made out of copper. I don't know if you can see the color on there. There we go. Copper, it's a very pretty color. The one in the middle is kind of brown because it's older. And I don't know if you've ever seen like the Statue of Liberty in a video or in real life maybe if you've been out to New York. Um, I am from that area. What, what? Okay, sorry. Just playing around. You guys know how silly I can be. Um, or if you've seen other statues outside of buildings that look kind of green. Well, they're green because they're starting to oxidize and have a batina look to them. So they start to turn green over time. Well, vinegar is going to speed up that process. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold your paper towel or your napkin, put it in your bowl, lay your pennies flat on them or on it, and just pour vinegar on top. I will pour some more vinegar on top just so you can see how I did it, but literally just made sure that vinegar went on every penny. And over the next few days, we're gonna keep our eye on this because it's gonna take some time to change. I'm curious if the middle penny, because it's already brown, if it will turn green faster or at all. So I just took some vinegar and I poured it on. And vinegar smells really strong, guys. Um, that's it. That's all I did. Poured a little bit of vinegar on there and we're going to keep our eye on it and we're going to keep pouring more and more vinegar on it every day a little bit more and see what happens. I am curious if this will turn out. Um, I think it's going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to put this over here um, near Hedgy and Grimley and Penny. They can keep an eye on that. Who is smelly guys? Oh my gosh. All right, now we are going to um, do our craft. Our craft today is a little bit of an experiment. We're gonna make two different types of paper airplanes. This one, which the best thing to use, guys, is just this uh, copy paper because it's nice and thin. I tried using construction paper. It was too thick. When it got to the parts like folding over here where it's really thick, it was kind of hard to fold. Okay, um, in my last video, I tried using the white construction paper to show you how to fold it. And I realized that you couldn't see very well with the white because it gets like really shiny and bright with the light hitting it. So I'm gonna try and use a different color for that. Um, but you can use whatever you want. You can even take a piece of um, copy paper or whatever you have uh, laying around and color it to make it more fun. And we're also gonna make this guy, which is, okay. A cylinder okay and I want you guys to test them out over the next you know day fly them see which one flies farther and let me know okay so share pictures of these share your answers you can share them with your teachers or you can comment on rattle together Facebook page or you can send me messages however you want to do it all right so let's start we're gonna start with this guy and like I said um, regular copy paper is best. I am using this. It's yellow on one side. It's fire on the other side. This is fancy paper. Um, you do not need fancy paper. I actually tried, I was just going to use yellow construction paper, but it didn't work out. Um, like I said, it was too thick. And this came with, uh, we have a book on how to make different paper airplanes. All right. Are you ready? So we're going to start, we're going to use this yellow side first. Um, I'm hoping that it'll work. So you're going to take this top corner. Oh, I'm going to hold on. Arrange this 
this camera so that you can see the desk again. I'm hoping that this works out. This top corner, you're gonna fold it down like this. See how there's um, room at the bottom? I'm not folding it all the way to this corner, I'm folding it here so that the corner makes a point. So that's gonna be tricky. In order to do that, you have to really line up your edges of the paper. You're gonna put your finger here and push back or drag it back and then out and out. And it'll look like this. Mucho más. Bueno, bueno. So beautiful. I'm so silly, guys. All right, now we're gonna open it back up and we're gonna do the same thing but the other way. We're gonna fold this corner and this corner should be able to just touch like the corner like this mark that we already made and that, and that should bring us the edge. But we're gonna, just to be on the safe side, we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna make sure that the corner will make a point over here. We're gonna line up our edge really carefully. Really, really carefully. We're gonna slide our finger back and then drag it out to the side and out to the side. And it looks like this now, opposite side. So when we open it up, we have an X. X marks the spot. Now you're going to take these two corners, the whole top, and you're going to fold it down. But you're going to fold it so that this corner goes to this corner, and this corner goes to this corner, and this will be the center. This will be the top. Okay? The center at the top. So corner to corner, corner to corner, triangle at the top, I put my finger in the middle and I slide it out and I slide it out and it looks like this. And then when I open it up, it looks like this. Okay, so now here's the tricky part. You're going to flip it over. So it should be kind of raised up. Do you see how there's like a, it's like tented? And you're going to take your finger and right in the middle where all of the creases intersect, you're going to push it down. So the other sides should kind of pop up, okay? Now, you have this line that's a crease that you made and this line, and you're going to fold them, fold it back. So you're going to fold it opposite onto that line this way and onto this line this way, okay? And then it looks like this. It's kind of crazy kind of silly looking. You're going to take it and lay it down and you should, if you press the top down, you should be able to slide it down. Oh my goodness, guys. Not perfect. Mine is not perfect, but that's okay. Even though the more perfect it is, the better your plane will fly in the end. So now I have a house. Do you see that? It's like this. And I folded it down like this. You might need a grown-up to help you with that. So I just folded it opposite there and there and then pressed it down until it was like that. I shouldn't be touching anywhere near my mouth, but of course my face itches all the time and I'm really bad at this not touching your face thing. All right, so now when you're holding it, it's like this and this piece pops up. You're going to take this and put the point here to the point here just like this. Line the edge up, push it down, slide it out. So now it's like that. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. This is very similar to our monsters that we made the other day, this part. You're gonna do that, okay? So fold up the other corner to corner, push your finger down on it, so now it looks like this. So both of these just went up, okay? Up, up. Up, up, down, down. Okay, sorry. Up and up. Now, you're going to flip it over so that you don't have any of the folds on this side. And you're going to fold it in half. This is kind of just preparing it for in a few steps. Okay? And because you're going to open it back up and flip it back over this way. And you're going to fold this part to this part. So this tip, you're going to leave all these things together and fold this to here. 
And this is where it gets tricky if you're using construction paper or something thick because it starts to be a lot of layers. And you're just going to press it hard. It should look like this. It's, like a, it's still like a house, but with a flat roof. Okay, so now I'm going to take this flat roof house and fold it in half again on that same line that I made before. Okay? And now I've got to make the wings. So I'm going to fold this down. But see this corner here? Right here? I'm going to make it go to here. So I'm just going to fold this to here. Like this. Folding it and pressing it. Okay? And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to fold it so that this corner goes to the that corner. Corner to corner, press it down. So now it looks like this. And we have one step left, and that is to put the little flaps up on the wings. So we don't want to fold the whole thing up, just a little bit. So maybe here-ish, it does not have to be perfect. You're just going to fold it. You want to line this side, this edge up so that it lines up with that that edge so that it's nice and straight. But you only need to go up a smidge. So if you see how I only went up a little bit, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So flip it over, line it up. So it's like this. And now your airplane is made. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? I'm so excited. This guy is called the Swashbuckler. And I can't wait to see you guys all make it fly. So, next we're going to make our cylindrical plane. Okay? This one is not as tricky. It doesn't, it's not as many steps. And again, I'm just using this fancy paper because it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. Um, white copy paper, printer paper is fine. So you're going to take this and you're going to start by just folding it in half, hot dog. Okay? So you're going to line up the corners and the edges, hold it down, push back to the middle, slide out to each side. There you go. Fold it in half, hot dog. Okay? Open it back up. Now, this is where I need you to pay close attention. You're going to take it and you're gonna fold this corner to the center, okay? So we're folding it again, we're lining it up to that center crease that we just made. Line it up as perfectly as you can, don't be like Miss Burns, okay? Push it back and out and back and out, okay. Leave it like this and now you're gonna take this and fold it again into the crease. Line it up. Make sure your edges are lined up and your corners are lined up. Press it from the in the middle and out, in the middle and out. It's like this now. Now, at the center crease, we're going to fold it all over. So we just took it and we went like this. And then one more time, you're going to take all of this and fold it onto itself again. Like this. Now, here's the tricky part. That you might need to grow up for. Watch what I do. I'm going to take it and press it down onto the edge of the desk and do this. And I'm pressing hard enough and pulling it makes it kind of curve a little. Isn't that cool? It's kind of like when you curl ribbon. I use scissors for that. Okay, now you're just going to take the two edges and you're going to open up one side a little bit and stick the other one in. Whoops. It popped out. So I'm just doing this and sliding this down on top. Now, what I did with my other one was I put a little piece of tape here because as I was flying it, I noticed that it kept coming apart. Sorry, that's my drawer because I'm getting the tape. You do not have to put a piece of tape on it. But um, if you notice that it keeps coming apart while you're flying it, you can just stick a piece of tape to hold it together. So now we've got our two airplanes. Remember I want to see 
pictures of them, I want you to fly them, and I want you to tell me which one flies farther. Okay. There we go. Look at that. You know, who needs fancy stuff, right? Okay, so that was our, our craft for the day, was our two planes. Um, all right, that's it for today. Awesome job, guys. Remember, you can always email me at rburns, R-B-U-R-N-S, at KUSD.org. You can find our Facebook page at fb.me slash rattle together, R-A-T-T-L-E, to get her, T-O-G-E-T-H-E-R. Or you can message me at m.me slash rattle together which is R-A-T-T-L-E, uh-oh, that's an L, <laughs> together to get her, T-O-G-E-T-H-E-R, period. Okay, so those are three ways you can get in touch with me or through your teachers. Um, one more thing not to forget is that we are going to try and make a chain of our goals go around the whole school. So write your goal on a strip of paper and I will add it to this. I'll make it be the next link and we'll try and get them all around the school. Your goal can be anything you want it to be. It can be private or it can be something you want to share with everyone, but it can be a great visual for us to have next year hanging in our school and for us to all remind each other of our goals. So please do that. Um, if you are using packets and you want to drop it off, um, in your packet next Monday, you can do that. Um, all right, so stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll check in on our caterpillars and see how they're doing. We will check in on our pennies and see how they're doing, and I will answer the riddle for you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. I hope you are all happy, healthy, and safe. Love you. Mwah.